Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am a representation of the group Dewi Sartika I will present a biography of Dewi Sartika First of all, I will introduce the member of the group Firstly, introduce Suryani Melati Secondly, introduce Tita Puspita And third, introduce Nurul Hatimah Fourth, introduce Siti Sophia Five introduce Erpina Rahmadiana and last but not least introduce to our teacher Hashli as Mr. Bagus Ismail. Okay, just direct the biography of Dewi Sartika. Orientation. Dewi Sartika was born to Sundanese noble parents, Raden Rangga Salmanagara and Raden Ajeng Raja Permas in Cicalengka on 4 December 1884. As a child, after school, she often threatened to be a teacher while flying with her friends. After her father did, she lived with her uncle. She received an education in Sundanese culture while under his care. While her knowledge of Western culture was based on to hear from the wife of a resident assistant in 1899 she moved to Bandung even on 60 January 1904 she found a school named Sakola Istri at Bandung Regensis Pendopo which later was relocated to Jalan Cimuriang and the school name changed to Sakola Sultaman Istri or wife eminency school in 1910 in 1912, the were named Sakola Street in cities of Regency and West Java, or half of the cities and Regencies. And in 1920, all of the cities and Regency had one school. In September 1929, this school changed its name to Sekolah Raden Dewi. She did on 11 September 1947 at Sinem, Tasikmalaya, while she was evacuated for Bandung due to the independence war. Reorientation We asked the younger generation must remember the service of Dewi Satika. We should not forget his enthusiasm and service in fighting for education for women. Hopefully, with what he has done, Women in Indonesia can get a better education for a brighter future for the progress of the Indonesian nation. That's all for me. Thanks for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.